Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Tech King Mike back with another video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said I wasn't going to pre-order an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I didn't. I got a 13 Pro instead. So, yes, we got the 13 Pro in the graphite color. I was not really feeling the colors that I saw this year. The Sierra Blue looked okay, but I decided I wanted to go with the graphite because I'm probably going to put a case on it or a skin or something like that. So, I'm not really too tripping about uh, having the colorful iPhone this year. I don't think they'll ever top the Pacific Blue. But without further ado, bars. Let's go on ahead and open this bad boy up. So now we don't have plastic this year. We have these pull tabs. And I want to say something. I want you all to be aware that these pull tabs are very easy to fake. So if you're buying an iPhone right now, make sure that you're getting it from a trusted seller or you're getting it from a trusted place like Best Buy or Amazon or, or the Apple store or something like that because it's easy to fake these tabs and put them back on. So just wanna make sure you guys are staying safe and you know protecting your investment. And ooh, look at that graphite. Now, obviously let's get this over with. No charger in the box, just the cable and you get your little you know manuals and stuff right here. I'm not even gonna mess with all that. Put all that to the side. We'll put this to the side as well. Now, I do have some screen protectors and a few other items coming for this bad boy. But for now, let's just take a moment to admire that graphite. Let's get a little up close with it. Man, I am feeling this color. This is going to be the perfect companion to go along with a Fold or even a Pixel 6 Pro because I'm going to get a large phone. I wanted to go small this year with the iPhone. And with the battery improvements that they brought this year, the cameras, the main selling point for me was the fact that the cameras on the Pro are the same as on the Pro Max. That was huge for me. So thank you, Apple, for making it to where the Pro and the Pro Max are literally only differentiated by a larger screen and a larger battery. I can handle this all day and night. Let's go on ahead and pull that off. And we got the 13 Pro in the building. Now, I'm ready to see what this ProMotion display is going to be like. Is it going to be... Um, easily noticeable or is it going to be something that you're going to kind of have to look for i'm not entirely sure so we're going to see how that works out take a look around the phone you got these stainless steel sides you know you got your speaker grills and your lightning connected down here you also got your camera bump right here the lenses are definitely a little bit bigger you can kind of see that there is a difference the lens kind of pops above the ring a little bit this year. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it pops above the ring a little bit this year. So that is interesting. I kind of wish that they would just make the whole back of the phone uh, the matte finish instead of making it glossy. One thing I do notice about it this year is that this is a little bit more rigid. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell again. Let's see if we can get it up close here, if y'all can tell. It's not as like rounded or flush as it was last year. So it is what it is. But ooh, let's take a look at this new hello screen here. Oh man, that's dope. That is dope. So let's now instantly. Okay. Yeah, I can tell. I can see that 120 hertz instantly. You guys may not be able to see it, obviously, because this is 4K uh, 30. So you won't be able to tell that I, uh, it has the promotion, but I can instantly see it. And that's that's really smooth. iOS has already been a smooth thing as it is, but this is really smooth. So yeah, this is just the first impressions and unboxing of the 13 Pro Max. Uh, I'm sorry, the 13 Pro. Uh, this size is actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I was really thinking that it might be too small. Uh, as you can see, the notch is still there. It's not, I mean, it's a little smaller, but it's not, you know, it's not as condensed as we want it to be. I don't understand why Apple just won't make the bezel at the top a little thicker and just make it in the bezel and give us all screen. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be really dope. But hey, iPhone 13 Pro graphite unboxing. This is the big boy. And man, nice little powerhouse of a phone here. Can't wait to put this thing through its paces. Like I said, this is going to be a great companion to go along with this bad boy right here. So bonjour to this. Meet your new, uh, meet, meet your buddy here. And yeah, we are going to go ahead and get up out of here. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me know down below in the comments. Did you pick up an iPhone yourself this year? If you did, which one did you get? Let me know down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video. It's your man, Tech King Mike. Peace.